Welcome to the Learning Center, a place where nurses can learn and discuss the newest and best practices to triage their patients. I am Marcy Line, the Triage Logic Nurse Educator. A triage nurse recently answered a call from a very anxious mother of a two-year-old. This mother told the nurse she was in a department store getting ready to have family pictures done and her two-year-old was having a temper tantrum and started crying because she couldn't have an ice cream cone. The crying got louder as the child got more upset each time the mom said no to her request for a sweet treat. Then suddenly the crying stopped. The mother looked over to see what had calmed the child and noticed that she looked bluish around the lips and was laying on the ground not moving. This was a first for both mother and child. The mother instantly picked the child up and began to hug her and talk to her and just as panic started to set in, the child began breathing again and was back to her normal self immediately. The entire episode lasted about 30 seconds. Once the mother got home, she called nurse triage to see if she needed to have the child seen in the emergency room or make an appointment for her pediatrician. After more serious causes, such as a seizure and choking on a foreign body were ruled out, the nurse realized that this was a great opportunity to offer reassurance and relieve the parent's anxiety. Breath holding spells are an involuntary reflex, meaning they are not intentional as many people think. Although scary for the parent, they are harmless and do not cause any lasting problems. Most children don't need treatment for breath holding spells. These spells will go away as the child gets older. Be sure to tell the caller to tell the child's doctor the next time they have an appointment or if the spells become more often or they have symptoms that they're concerned about. While these spells may be frustrating for parents, they usually don't cause lasting harm. <music> 